Welcome to episode 2 of Tea Break Tuesday, a weekly catch up for craftspeople to take a break and get some real talking done over a nice cup of tea. Uh, this week I'll mostly be pounding the basic round fair trade tea bags from the co-op. Again, um, that's just the way that I roll. Uh, recapping from last week's video, uh, last week as you know was uh, a talk about what you need to start an Etsy shop. Uh, it was very basic, uh, kind of like a back to foundation sort of video and I had a real mixed response. Uh, some people uh, liked it, other people, I noticed, uh, actually hit the dislike button, Ooh, which is fine. Um, I'm comfortable with that, uh, and what I want is for you guys and me to have a conversation. So if you feel that strongly, um, or you felt like I didn't cover the right sort of grounds, then drop a comment uh, and let's talk about it, dude. That's what this entire series is all about. This week I actually got two questions that I'd like to cover. Uh, the first was from uh, a follower of the YouTube channel Rob Evans. Thanks Rob, I've noticed you've been around since the, the very start, uh, which is awesome. Thanks for your support. Uh, and he asked, um, how would someone build confidence in their handmade products? I mean, I'm, go I'm going to speak from my own personal uh, experience. Uh, and basically what I found that helped me when I was first starting out. It took me quite a while to kind of get really proficient and really comfortable uh, with the process of making uh my rings. I mean, I make wooden rings, as you all probably know. Um, but it took me a long time to get really, really good. Um, and I think that that's what helped me to become confident, is knowing that I was so proficient and fast and streamlined with my process that I could replicate my results time and time again uh, with just a few simple processes. Secondly, try and sell things. <laughs> try and sell stuff uh, and get feedback from like real other people. You kind of have like this critical eye of your own work uh, whereas other people see it and they, th and they just think it's the best thing ever um, and there's nothing more encouraging uh, than hearing kind words about your work. If you're a bit reluctant to start selling to the public right away, then uh, spam your friends and family. Selling stuff to your friends does count. It's still a sale. They generally are very encouraging and supportive of you, uh, and they'll give you honest feedback saying like, hey, uh, I love this, but it's a bit rough around the edges, and then you know what to improve on for the next time. And the third thing uh, is don't listen to naysayers. Hate is gonna hate, and make is gonna make, yo! <laughs> a lot of people will try and put you down, put you off, say, hey, you can't sell things like that, um, no one will buy things, uh, but actually the internet opens you up to a world of buyers. What you should concentrate on uh, is creating unique and high quality work uh, and keep on learning. Keep the mindset of a pupil basically your entire life is what I believe. Don't listen to the naysayers uh, and just concentrate on getting better uh, and when you've streamlined your process um, and sold a few things to your friends and family um, and maybe a few members of the public I'm sure that you'll be well on your way uh, to creating a winning product line. I hope that helps. Um, and the second question was sent to me uh, over Instagram by Art by Alex UK, and she asked, "How do you deal with being copied?" Uh, which I think is an awesome question. Uh, how do you react to people copying your work? And I just say gracefully. It's understandably annoying uh, when someone copies what you do, but you have to uh, remember that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. <laughs> so it's probably a sign that you're onto something good. Don't get me wrong, uh, you shouldn't allow people to blatantly replicate and rip off your work uh, and undercut, undercut you when they're selling things with the same products. And if you do own intellectual rights to a design, then perhaps you should have a polite word with the people who are uh, imitating you or even contact a lawyer. Um, but just, you know, as a general kind of artist, craftsperson, I actually believe that sharing is caring uh, and you should help and encourage the person or the people who are imitating you to find their own unique voices. Share some knowledge uh, and help them to grow, carve a path away from your work work eventually. They may become competitors <laughs> in the future, uh, but bear in mind competitors are good. 
and they force you to push yourself uh, and innovate and express your unique talents. It's happened to me where other shops have opened up and you know I've looked at them and thought oh my god these guys are doing so well and I actually need to up my game if I'm going to like stand out from the crowd and to be honest if it was, wasn't for other competing shops I don't think that I'd be anywhere near as good. Another last thing to remember is that they can copy you but they will never be you. Uh, get your head down um, and show everyone why you're the people why you're the person that everyone imitates <laughs> basically uh, Concentrate on you know your own work making your shop better making your process more streamlined um, And making your work more unique uh, and I'm sure that in the future It won't even be a problem for you because you'll be glad that someone else is taking business off your hands because you can't keep up with the with the demand anyway um, so that's it basically, it was just a quick one today, it's getting, you know, getting late here um, and I need to get off to the gym uh, and it's also really windy and stormy so I don't want to be in here for much longer as it's getting cold uh, but thank you very much, um, what is your opinion on the topics we discussed today, what did you do when someone imitates your artwork um, and how have you found confidence in um, in your handmade products, uh, let me know. Leave a question. Leave a question or a comment below. You can also hit me up on Instagram or Facebook at Zebrano Woodcraft. So until the next one, see you later. Done.